One more thing to talk about, just because it's kind of fun, is the idea of Google WAC. And you can go to googlewack.com if you want to learn more about it, but there's sort of a running contest for people to be able to find Google queries that return just one result. Now, I already showed you a Google query that returned only one result, but it was kind of a trick, right? I mean, I took an entire long sentence and made it a literal by putting quotation marks around the end, and there was only one page in the entire world that had that huge long sentence on it, right? So that was, that's an easy way to do it. But you'll see the rules say that you can't put quotes around things. And it has to be, I think it's at least two words. Yeah, your query has to be at least two words and with no quotes, which means an and between those words, like information and management is the example that I gave you. And it has to return only one page. Now, <laughs> the, kind of, the funny thing about it is if you find this page and you report it to Google WAC, you say, hey, look, I found the Google WAC page. You know, ain't I, ain't I cool? I found some Google, Google query that only returns one result. What does Google WAC do? Google WAC lists your Google WAC on their page. And then what happens? Well, now it's on two pages. It was on the page that you originally found, and it's also on the Google WAC page. So any Google WAC that works automatically turns into a Google WAC that doesn't work because they put it on the Google WAC page. Okay, that's Google WAC, and it's just kind of a fun thing to, you know, to mention to you to, to let you know that it's out there.